Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, here's the situation. Iran, one of their generals at the uh, Revolutionary Guard said, the United States is going to get a strong slap in the face. What? Well, according to the reports coming out of several networks now, including the Jerusalem Post, the United States should expect a strong slap in the face if it underestimates the Iranians' defense capabilities, said one of its top commanders of the elite Revolutionary Guard this morning in Tehran, Iran, uh, as they were concluding one of their war games. Maybe they got excited. They just had a game of risk, and they, they, they pulled off some miraculous. The dice kept rolling for them, and they kept taking... I don't know what happened in their, in their war games, but... To, to just make a statement like that. You're one of the top commanders and you're saying, America, get ready for a strong slap in the face. I mean, are you serious? Get some coffee. Somebody get a hold of Bruce Springsteen. Get the boss on these guys. Well, anyway, since taking office last month, the United States President Donald Trump has pledged to get very tough with Iran, warning the Islamic Republic after its ballistic missile test on January 29th that it was playing with fire and all U.S. options were on the table. Now, the enemy should not be mistaken in its assessments and it will receive a strong slap in the face if it does make such a mistake, said General Mohammed Pakpur, head of the Revolutionary Guard's ground forces, quoted by the Guard's website. Okay, now on uh, also today, the Revolutionary Guards concluded their three days of exercises with rockets and artillery and tanks and helicopters and after, weeks after Trump warned that he had put Tehran on notice over their missile launch. The message of these exercises for the world, um, arrogance, for the world's arrogance, is not to do anything stupid, said General Pakpur. He quoted by the semi-official news agency, Tesman. But everyone should see today that power we have on the ground. Matter of fact, the Revolutionary Guard said they test-fired advanced rockets, used drones in a three-day exercise, which were held in central and eastern portion of the nation of Iran, as tensions also mounted with Israel. A military analyst says that the Iranian-allied Hezbollah could use Iranian-made Fatah 110 missiles to attack the Israeli nuclear reactors inside Lebanon. And so Hezbollah's leaders uh, are saying to, uh, that his group, which played a major role in ending Israel's occupation of Lebanon, at least that's what they're reporting, um, is saying since Lebanon's Hezbollah is one of the chief holders of the Fatah, 110. This missile is one of the main alternatives for targeting. Okay, so there's a lot of saber rattling going on right now between the Iranians and the Americans. Really, the Americans, Trump just, and they're burning U.S. flags and Israeli flags in the streets and this kind of stuff. I mean, this is the kind of thing that goes on. I'll put the link below. The Jerusalem Post has a great article on this, but certainly we're living in dangerous times. The Bible said in the last days, perilous times shall come. Okay, dangerous times would come. And we're in those days, all right? And Jesus even said there shall be false Christ and false prophets shall rise and they shall deceive many and you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that you be not troubled. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, okay? The end is not yet. There's a lot yet to take place. But Jesus is coming soon and things are accelerating at an unbelievable exponential rate. So give your life to Jesus Christ. Calm down, everybody. I mean, even you guys in Iran, everybody calm down, the media. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Get a cup of coffee. And get things right with God. He's coming soon. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.pawbigglyprophecy.com.